I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Sunday morning. It's the 18th of August, 2024. And this is your friend, Angus Bucket, with a thought for the day. We go to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 4. Jesus answered and said to them, Go and tell John the things which you hear and see. The blind see and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them. Now remember, John the Baptist was in jail. He sent two of his disciples to inquire, is this the one that is coming or do we look for another? Jesus didn't answer with an explanation. He just said to them, go and tell John what I am doing. I want to say to you today that the proof of the pudding is in the eating. That's an old saying that is so true. A cake can look beautiful, but until you taste it, you won't really appreciate it. Jesus sent back this message to John and this proof that he, Jesus, was undoubtedly the Son of God, made flesh, was not because of the sermons he preached, but by the miracles that he did. Here at Shalom, we have a saying, one genuine miracle equals a thousand sermons. And remember, according to Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. We have experienced many miracles here at Shalom. I really believe with all my heart that the tools of the trade of the evangelist are signs and wonders and miracles, just as the master did. But we need faith. We need faith to believe for it. Today, I'm feeling in my heart very strongly that there might be a young lady who is unable to fall pregnant and desperately desires a child. Her and her husband are waiting for the miracle. I can tell you I have evidence of many, many parents who have children that could not have babies. But when we prayed for them, the prayer of faith, God honored that prayer. I want to pray for you this morning. As I have been praying for some time, Lord, I believe in miracles. Please let us see another one being born today. Father, I pray for that lady listening to this message now who is unable to fall pregnant. I pray for her and her husband that as this message goes into their heart, that they will be reminded that Jesus Christ is the miracle worker. And he is also present with us right now. In Jesus' name, receive your miracle, and we thank you for a baby that will be born in nine months' time. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.